going on everyone? We are here at the Sea Otter Classic. It's Saturday. Today is going to be the biggest day. The weather's great, the sun's out, it's a little warm, and we're gonna cruise the expo and kind of see who we run into, see who's here, talk to some companies, and uh, kind of show you the experience of inside Sea Otter. Let's go check it out. Okay, so one of the bikes that's getting a lot of attention here at Sea Otter is this prototype Niner full suspension gravel bike. Do not touch, it's getting a lot of attention. It's pretty cool. We got a better look at it on our site with photos, but um, a lot of people are saying it's a mountain bike, some people are saying it's too much. I think it looks really fun. Uh, there's some trails that I'd be interested in going down on that, seeing how fast. But uh, 2019, they're looking to have that in production, and uh, we'll see if uh, full suspension starts coming more on future gravel bikes. Let's go check out what else is out there. All right, we're here stopping at Monster. It's a little warm. We're gonna try out some of the new products. They've got the muscle protein drink. For on the fly, we're not eating much. And then we got the hydro, it's cold. Greg, hydro. Muscle, how's it going for you? Never better. Great yeah. show. Yep. How's Every it? Every year gets better and better. How's it coming into the, the endurance category, I guess, for Monster? Well, it's been great. We, we've had Muscle Monster for uh, five years now, but we just relaunched it into the new, this bottle here. It's a plastic bottle. It's got more protein, less sugar. And so that's launching this weekend. So it's been phenomenal. Um, we have a lot of cross country guys on board. We have doing some cross with Amanda Panda, some road with Wattage Cottage, and then just again, a great event every year at the Otter. Awesome. Well, thanks for the drinks. We're gonna keep going. Speaking of last night, you guys had a little, little after party for the select few industry. It's good times. But by the way, we're at IRC, this is Bruno. Hello. How's Sea Otter been for you guys? It's been great. Uh, yeah. We've had a lot of new people come out check out some of our new tires. We got Road Plus tires. We got new Enduro mountain bike tires. We've had our distributors. We have guys like you coming out, checking it out, seeing what's new. Yes. So it's exciting to be back at the game. Here. You do have something new, right? 650B something? Yes. Where's this, where's this new tire at? I need that bike. Oh, we need the bike. There we go. The bike. The tire is yeah, right here. Look at this thing. Gorgeous. So, so what is this? 650B Road Plus tire coming a 42 and a 47. Okay. We got four different tread options on there as it goes super slick in the center for the road. So we're just riding it this morning with Eric Zobel, pretty sweet. I have, I heard of him. And it gets more aggressive on the side, you just get super loose, have fun. And as soon as you hit those off camera turns, you drift super well. All right, well, I'm looking forward to trying these out. And uh, until then. Always good chatting with you. Hope you shake Thank hands you or you know do whatever. Yes. Good party last night, and uh, let's go see who else we run into here. Stop by Rhino Power. We're here with Ryan. How's the expo going? How's the feedback uh, been? Sea Otter is always yeah. like the absolute best event that we do. You know, we get to see so many of our pro athletes that are doing really well. And then we get to see a lot of the amateur athletes. We get to check in on some of the, the high school team. We get to check in on, you know, just so many of the different people that we work with. And a lot of our dealers are here. A lot of our distributors are here. You know, the e-commerce partners are here. So we kind of get the whole gamut. And um, it's also one of the busier events that we do. So it's been a great show. You know, people, they love our hydration fuel, the carbo fuel. Um, it's just the non-GMO pure carbs and people absolutely love that. And we've been giving away pre-race packs and swag bags, so people have been uh, very excited. How do you feel like, all right, so obviously you're an inner biker there as well, but that's kind of like a closed industry kind of deal. Here it's kind of, it's the same, but it's, there's the public here. Yep. How do you feel like the difference, like what do you like better? Uh, we want to talk to the people. We prefer Sea Otter much more. Yeah. Um, we feel like, like this gives us the opportunity to talk to the actual customer that's using the product, but we also get to talk to the dealers and the dealers can see what's, what their consumers are being okay. drawn to. So you can walk around Sea Otter and you can see what's pulling the people in and um, it looks good for us because our booth has been busy all week, so I'm very proud awesome. of that. Awesome. Well, hey. Always good chat with you, Ryan. Thank you so much, Jack. Thanks, thanks, thanks for everybody. Bye. Okay, so over here at Sage, they do some pretty awesome hand-built US Titanium. And I'm kind of in the market for a new bike. Right. I've got a little bit of money. What, but I, I kind of like this one. What's, what's this gonna set me back if I wanna, if I wanna take this thing home? This particular one is actually gonna set you back $20,000. That's it? Oh, that's it. It's not that heavy, so you know. No, I mean at 13.2 pounds for a 54 okay. centimeter. 
I think I can do that. You probably could do that. Better? It's gonna fly up there. Okay, 13 pounds. Where's all the weight savings at? So, yeah, where's all the twenty thousand dollars at? So we've got a lot of carbon going on here. So first okay. off, we've got our titanium frame. So we've got a metal frame, 325 tie, made in the USA, uh, custom painted. So we do one-off paint. So this is a one-off paint scheme, never to be done again. Um, but then as far as the carbon goodness going on here, you've got lightweight uh, wheels, special edition. Uh, we've got a THM scapula fork, uh, THM uh, stem, 3T limited bars, SRAM ETAP, 3T seat post, but then we get into the good stuff down here. T THM clavicula SE crank set, that's 300 grams of carbon for a full crank set. Both arms, uh, spindle, carbon fiber. And then we've got the new THM uh, carbon fiber calipers as well. Okay, I, I think I'm pretty sold. Like, you know, I might, I might actually want to take a couple. Get two different colors, you know, like a weekend weekend bike, a weekday bike. I, I feel like that should really be kind of a, a thing that you have, I like, like it. you know, your it's you know, it's party in the front, you know, in the it's like a mullet. There you go. It's like a mullet. This Business bike is in like, the front, party in yeah, the back. Bike's like a mullet. Bike's right. like a mullet. Hey, no. Good chatting. Thanks, John. We're gonna push down more. All right, Still thanks. Bike. Sweet. All right, here we are, stop bike better cyclists. We are just with these guys in Park City for the Gore launch. Weather was a little different. It was really cold. Now we're getting like sunburn. Like my sunburn is getting sunburn here. So uh, let's let's go check outside. You guys actually have a cool setup here. Let's check it out. Awesome. Does it work? Got a little cheese board. Charcuterie plate. So how's the uh, how's the expo been for you guys? Expo's been great. Yeah. A lot of uh, awesome riders, people you know us, people you don't know us. So if you email our email. Check in with a lot of the brands that we love. So yeah, like you guys, I mean, you're like an online cool. retailer. So like, what's your goal of coming here and like having a presence besides having an awesome trailer for us to hang out? Man, the reality, I think we just want to show people we champion the cyclists who have life. Like we love riding, we love supporting those yeah. people who do ride. Show that we've got great product, great relationships with various vendors. That we've got the brands that people love riding. Like just demonstrate yeah, that here. you know we're in this in a way that, yeah. that, that just, just, just like the riders. Awesome. Cool. Cool. I think it's time for some cheese, make some espresso, and. Uh, Keep moving on. Absolutely. What, little, what you got here? Yeah, man. So we're just we partnered with Lock Alone Coffee. And they sent us 50 pounds of coffee from Philadelphia. Check them out. Super good. We're just doing four pour overs, getting people caffeinated, keeping the stoke yeah, high, showing them what's up with the trailer. Yeah, this thing is full solar, 45 gallon water tank. Good for events like this. Got the fridges going. So I'm into it. Yeah, man. It's good stuff. Keep it up. All right, so we heard that uh, Bell Helmets, they're going to show Supercross. And it uh, looks like they are because everyone's gathering. So let's go take a little break from the expo and okay. check out Bell and watch some Super. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We're going to go to Bell quick and then we're going to go to Bell. We're going to go to Bell. We ran into a moto dude here at the Sea Otter, Don Maeda from Trans World Moto. What, do you, what yeah. are you doing at a bicycle event? Ah, oh, dude. I love bicycling. Saved my life. Uh -huh. right? That's a good excuse. Yeah. Now I'm gonna uh, race the old guy, slow guy class tomorrow morning. Nice. Cross country. So you've been coming up here much lately? Or uh, the last this few years? This is my fourth or fifth year, maybe. I think. All right. Yeah. Good times. Bye, Bye Fant. See you, Fant. Well, we got a little Supercross going on. Yeah. So still watching it are you uh you know go to salt lake next weekend uh no next weekend is uh my college student daughter she's got a, a okay. performance that we're all in town for all right so, yeah, right on. Salt lake for me. all right well uh good luck tomorrow crush it and we'll see how you do hey. all right we just wrapped up watching some super cross over at bell right next door we found boyd these are good people they got a new wheel Let's get a little bit of what you're working with here at Sea Otter. Yeah, so we're introducing our new road uh, disc brake wheel set. Uh, a lot of people will have the same model for rim brake and disc brake. We decided we wanted to optimize the rim for disc brakes. Uh, nice wide 22 millimeter profile, 2.9 millimeter offset on there really helps even out the spoke tensions, both front and rear. Center lock, disc brake hubs, swappable end caps. And uh, we've got this, the really cool thing about this, we're doing a hooked version for high pressure road tires, uh, 25 millimeters, 28 millimeters. We're also doing a hookless version for gravel tires and high volume road. 
and then we've got a tubular version, and the tubular is specifically designed for a cyclocross. So it's 29 millimeters wide, rim bed radius of 32 millimeters, so you get perfect edge-to-edge -edge gluing. Are these available now? Uh, they'll be available in about one month. Okay, cool. Well, when they're available, you send them over, and we're going to do some testing on them, and we'll get you guys a review out there. Perfect. Sounds Thanks, good. Thanks, bud. Much appreciated. Right. Yeah. Catching up to Keegan Swenson. He's a mountain bike pro real guy, but he trains on the road, so what? it totally works out. So we're Sea Otter. How was this race in the Pro X year like? You know, fill us in, fill the road crowd in on what it's like to race in the mountain. Yeah, I mean, we raced short track yesterday, which is like a 20, 25 minute race, just full gas and kind of really tactical, kind of like a, you know, a dirt grit, for mm -hmm. lack of a better term. Yeah. Um, Sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little loose, you know, and then uh, yeah, today was the cross country, okay. so it was uh, eight laps of like a, I think, I think we were doing about 12 minute laps today, um, so yeah, it was you know, a bunch of laps around this kind of grassy, bumpy course, um, so a fair bit of pavement and uh, some bumpy grass. So how do you like, how's this layout because like, you know, most of the races you do, you just go and you race, but this is like a race and it's like a show. So like it's a lot going on. Yeah, there's a lot going on. You're hanging out in the sun at the venue, you're you know, talking to sponsors, hanging yeah. out with people and then you're racing, of course. So it's like I mean you wanna do well at the race and uh -huh. you wanna like, you know, put on a good show, but like I guess my focus is on just bigger races in the future yeah. or bigger races in the past. So yeah, you just gotta come here, race your bike, have fun and uh you know, so on. what's so, next? What's next uh, on the list? End of the whiskey fifty. When's that? next weekend so the fat tire crits on friday okay and that's on pavement, right that's like full pavement we have to race on slicks you don't like have to a, race he's on like slicks, a roadie yeah like a you know, dirt roadie with fat bars <laughs> yeah and then on sunday is the 50 miler so it's roughly three ish hours so from so, now till next week what's going to kind of like be your training program so like do you ride on mountain yeah, bike so, much? Be on the road much um well, right now i'm just traveling with one of my mountain bike okay. which on the road um past few weeks so you know, I'll take tomorrow off, just travel to travel to Prescott, uh -huh. and then Monday probably just be an easy recovery day, okay. and then on Tuesday probably do four four and a half hours, go pre-ride the course, open up the legs a little bit, okay. get that get that endurance motor rolling a little more. Um, Sounds about right. A couple, of, a couple of openers on Wednesday, and then another easy day on Thursday, and then fire it up the, for the crit on Friday. Go do a couple hours on Saturday, get the motor going, and then race on Sunday. Sun. Yeah. All right, man. Well, so. Yeah. Thanks. Good job today. Always having a good chat with you. And uh, let's go see who else is here. Okay, so it's a little toasty out here at Sea Otter. So we heard Camelback's got a pretty cool product with their new Chase vest. Siri, I, what, what do we got here? So we have the new Chase bike vest. It's 1.5 liter uh, vest that has stowage on the chest pockets here. Um, met ventilated mesh uh, material, so it breathes really well. It sits high on your back so you can still get to your pockets. And uh, it's perfect for hydrating on hot days. Are we going to wear this at Kansas? Oh, we are going to wear this at Kansas. Tank top Oh, with a tank top? Yeah. I mean, only you can pull off the That's tank top, but this would be a good look. I think that would go well with the tank top, but yeah, we're definitely awesome. wearing this in Kansas. Okay, sure. so we're going to actually do some product testing right now. Okay, we're all right, just, man. You know, it's kind of toasty, like I said, yeah. so let's see. You wore this in a gravel camp, too. Yeah, I love yeah. this thing. So now we're going to do it like a sea otter. Yeah, there so, you go, uh, man. All right. Okay. See ya. High five. Yeah. It's going to be a Smith helmet. We're going to make it a really good one. We're going to do a Smith helmet and a truly vital hydration. All right, we ran into Floyd, Dave. What's up? What are you guys doing at Sea Otter? What's the latest? Got a little Floyd's of Leadville. Some branding going on. Yeah, man. We're uh, spending money promoting our new. Uh, a new line of CBD <laughs> products, helping people rela relax and recover. Um, How's the response been on the CBD good. products? And, it's been yeah. very, very great. People really, really having a lot of positive experiences with it. We are, uh, you know, I think we're really helping people out with their chronic pain issues. And with their athletic recovery issues. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah there's and a little bit so of a learning curve. You know, some yeah. people haven't used marijuana products in 
past and they think that it's going to make them high or make them give them reefer madness. Yeah, we're uh, also, in a way, you know, last time we were here together, we were roommates at the race itself, so it's kind of fun to, you know, walk bring, down. Bring back some lane. memories. Yeah, bring back the romance. <laughs> it's a reunion, the bromance. Reunion, if you will. Uh, re uh, reconnect. Yeah. Speaking of uh, rooming together, you guys have a grand opening coming up. Yeah, we is that word on street? Yeah, we got a dispensary in Leadville now. Before we just had our office there, now we have a storefront. So hopefully, grand opening. All the all the mountain bikers come up there. And yeah. So this year at the Leadville 100 itself, it will be the uh, they can actually finally come in and buy something. In the past, they would knock <laughs> on the door, we'd invite them in, they'd hang out, and they'd have a good time, but they couldn't buy any uh, products. So now it's a uh, fully legal dispensary. All right. So you've been riding some gravel. We did that last week. What have you been up to, Floyd? You, you doing any riding? Or you just kind of hanging out? Yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> the usual. The usual. <laughs> <laughs> just the usual. I've been riding a little bit. I rode more last year than I had in a couple of years, and I just I enjoyed it again. Finally, there was some, you gonna sign up? Some ups and downs there with cycling, but it's good. It's yeah. good now, yeah. We didn't miss that. I was gonna do the uh, <laughs> e-bike race here, but I, didn't, I don't really know where to sign up. Did you sign up for one of? Dave's camps yet? No. Yeah, he'll be a. Uh, I thought it was guest. over, honestly. But he'll be a special guest at the Nut House eventually. Get a discount. I'll mean, show up. <laughs> I'll just maybe give me like a free water bottle, some tubes. Maybe <laughs> some chamois cream. Yeah, some chamois cream. I'd be happy to, happy to make an appearance. All right. Well, uh, but beautiful day out here. Yeah, beautiful day. Blue skies. It's warm. You gonna go over around. to the? Uh, uh, you you want to head over to the um, dual slalom? It looks cool. I, yeah. Last time I was here, probably. 20 years ago, 10 years ago, I don't know how long it was, but it, it totally changed. They used to just go in the dirt, right? I don't know if you can see it from here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice but, to, but now they built these huge berms. It looks like fun. It's nice to see they've <laughs> preserved this wetland area. We can't win. All we keep doing is getting second place. <laughs> All right, we found the Elevate KHS boys walking to uh, what? Head? Where are you going? Yeah, we're at. Uh, we just finished up an autograph signing at uh, Full Speed Ahead, and we are headed to Head Cycling, who makes our wheels, great stuff. And then from there, we're going to be at 4i Power Meters at uh, 4 o'clock. Right, Dubs? Yep. You guys having fun? Of course. Why are you wearing a jacket? It's like 85 degrees. <laughs> because Nation's number one the jackets are cool. All right, well, as long as you, all right. And this is not hot, dude. I'm from Belize. Come on. <laughs> well, it's, it's warm out here. It's actually pretty cold. It's not cold, bro. How are you feeling after your BWR victory? Oh, excellent, excellent. We keep walking around people, and uh, people keep saying that they thought it was cool to uh, win the Belgian Waffle Ride. And, uh, we're very thankful to be here, and you know, see all our friends at RBA has an incredible, uh, dude, huge video, huge video at RBA, road bike action. Tell us something. What are you doing? Tell us. Yeah. <laughs> Speak. Just tell us something. I'll just use my accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just talk. Yeah. Just it's so lovely. How's it going? Uh, uh, yeah. No, it's been good. Been having a good old time out here trying to. It's kind of hard when you're a cyclist trying to walk everywhere. Like uh, you, si you cyclists are such prima donnas. I know, aren't we? You guys are racing like 45 minutes out here. Yeah. It's got like that much hair gel, but like <laughs> hold up a bridge. I mean, like uh, <laughs> yeah, that bridge. Yeah. That's it. So yeah, just hanging out. Checking out as many sights and sounds of uh, sea otter and hanging out with cool guys like you, man. All right, well, what's uh, what's next after sea otter for you? We head down to Dana Point for the uh, Criterium down there on Sunday next weekend. Uh, and then after that, we've got the Redlands Classic. So that's a big one for us. Uh, the boys are kill trying to kill it over in uh, New Mexico, which... Gila. Uh, yeah, Gila. Gila. So, um, I mean... How they do that? Not it? too bad. I think yeah. uh, James is sitting seventh overall on GC, so it's, right. been, it's been pretty good so far. And uh, hopefully, he can sneak up there on the Healer Monster, and which would be a bit su better suited to him. Than, yeah. So, I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty happy. I'm in uh, Northern California <laughs> rather than uh, New Mexico. Uh, yeah. There's there's air to breathe here. I know that's it. <laughs> <laughs> air to breathe. Nice, beautiful weather. I mean, can't really complain. All right, well, we're going to let you get back. Okay, that's a wrap for the Sea Otter Classic. It's been a great three days. The weather's been awesome. Saw a lot of cool brands. Got some stuff. Saw some new stuff that we're happy to hopefully be testing soon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we're going to get back home and get back to the magazine lab.